Chapter 3 Drainage What is meant by drainage? The term drainage describes the river system of an area. Let us see the physical map. Children, you will notice that small streams flowing from different directions come together to form the main river which ultimately drains into a large water body such as a lake or a sea or an ocean. The area drained by a single river system is called a drainage basin. A closer observation on a map will indicate that any elevated area such as a mountain or an upland separates two drainage basins. You know what? Such an upland is known as water divide. Do you know? The world's largest drainage basin is of the Nile River in Egypt. Find out. Which river has the largest basin in India? Answer. The river Ganga has the largest basin in India. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Drainage systems in India The drainage system of India are mainly controlled by the broad relief features of the subcontinent. Accordingly, the Indian rivers are divided into two major groups. Number one, the Himalayan rivers. Number two, the Peninsula rivers. Now, apart from originating from the two major physiographic regions of India, the Himalayan and the Peninsular rivers are different from each other in many ways. Most of the Himalayan rivers are perennial. You know what it means? It means that they have water throughout the year. These rivers receive water from rain as well as from melted snow from the lofty mountains. The two major Himalayan rivers, the Indus and the Brahmaputra, originate from the north of the mountain ranges. They have cut through the mountains making gorges. The Himalayan rivers have long courses from their source to the sea. They perform intensive erosional activity in their upper courses and carry huge loads of silt and sand. In the middle, and the lower courses, these rivers form meanders, oxbow lakes and many other depositional features in their floodplains. They also have well-developed deltas. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Drainage patterns. The streams within a drainage basin form certain patterns depending on the slope of land, underlying rock structure, as well as the climatic conditions of the area. These are dendritic, 
trellis, rectangular and radial patterns. The dendritic pattern develops where the river channel follows the slope of the terrain. The stream with its tributaries resemble the branches of a tree, thus the name dendritic. A river joined by its tributaries at approximately right angles develop a trellis pattern. A trellis drainage pattern develops where hard and soft rocks exist parallel to each other. A rectangular drainage pattern develops on a strongly jointed rocky terrain. The radial pattern develops when streams flow in different directions from a central peak or dome-like structure. Features made by rivers A combination of several patterns may be found in same drainage basin. A large number of the peninsula rivers are seasonal as their flow is dependent on rainfall. During the dry season, even the large rivers have reduced flow of water in their channels. The peninsular rivers have shorter and shallower courses as compared to their Himalayan counterparts. However, some of them originate in the central highlands and flow towards the west. Can you identify two such large rivers? Well, let me help you with that. Two such rivers are Narmada and Tapi. Most of the rivers of peninsular India originate in the western Ghats and flow towards the Bay of Bengal. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें